going to be doing an acrylic painting. I had taken scotch tape, or you can use masking tape, and I've put some stripes on here in a little design. And when I paint, when I pull that off, that'll keep the canvas white. I've got white gesso. It's a loose white paint, and I'm going to be covering top of my canvas with that. I also have a spray bottle with just plain water. And if you're in a dry environment, you can just sort of mist a little bit and that'll keep your canvas a little wet. And what this does is it allows the paint to move more smoothly. And because I'm using the white gesso, it does lighten the colors. I am picking up a little titanium white and a little alizarin crimson. I'm picking up alizarin crimson on one side of the brush and the titanium white or uh, thalo white on the other side. So I have paint on opposite corners. And I'm going to start at the top. And you can see, you can run a nice stripe. And as I work my way down, until the two colors blend, work my way back up. Let's get those corners covered. And if I decide maybe to do some water down here, I can turn the brush over just I'm doing it this way, flipping it over, maybe pull uh, some water down here. I'm going to pick up some a little of my white. I'm just going to do this corner. I'm not going to do the whole, all the way across. Maybe we'll have a little winter scene. And Pick up a little more of my white here since I didn't put any down here. And get a little more of that there. And that looks good. That's just enough to maybe a little water over here. I'm going to clean my brush. As I said, I'm using acrylics. So you want to make sure your brushes are either standing in water or you clean them. Don't let that acrylic paint dry on them because it will ruin your brush. And I've just got regular paper towel and I'm just drying off my brushes with that. All right, so we got ourselves a sky. I'm gonna just kind of lightly go across with a clean brush. All right, I'm gonna pick up a fan brush and it looks just like that, a fan. I'm going to go in, I'm going to pick up some titanium white. The titanium white is a thicker, heavier white. I'm going to coat both sides of my fan brush. Then I'm going to come up here and just maybe some little clouds. I'm just sort of dancing across. I'm going to clean, wipe that brush off. I'm not wiping it, washing it, I'm just sort of wiping it on my paper towel, pick it up a little bit more, maybe down here. Some of those clouds are coming down. Just kind of wipe that a little bit, maybe on this side. So we've got a little cloud action up here. I'm going to go back into my white, maybe in a couple of these places. I'm going to, right on the top, so I'm going to kind of push up. That allows some of that heavier white on top. I'm going to take my dry clean large brush and just using the corner, just the corner, I'm going to go underneath, not touching the tops yet, and just kind of doing almost like small circles and kind of blending. Oh, okay, the other side, same thing, just the corner. Not touching the tops of those clouds. All right, I'm gonna wipe my 
And I'm going to kind of lift and then lightly go across. All right, we got some clouds. I'm going to take that fan brush. I'm going to pick up just a touch of the alizarin, mix it with some of that titanium white. Don't want it super, super red, but I do want some pink in it. And then maybe here, oh, maybe a little bit darker. Want it to show up. I'm just adding more of the alizarin crimson. And I'm kind of, maybe some pink clouds just floating across here. Wipe my brush off. I'm going to pick up some just basic white. Maybe on tops of those, just a little bit of white. Then I'm going to just kind of pull, kind of blend those out a little bit. All right, I'm going to clean my brush and dry it off, set it down. I'm going to pick up my knife. I'm going to mix some of the phthalo blue with some of my alizarin crimson. I'm going to get sort of a lavender color. And you decide, you want it more towards the red, add more alizarin. If you want it more towards the blue, you can add more of the blue. And I'm picking it up, pulling it out flat on my thing, and then scraping across, and I'm getting a little roll of paint. Then I'm gonna come in, and let's put some mountains in. Oh, there's one high one right here. Pull that down, there's the other side of it. Pick up some more of that. I don't want to lose all the pink in the sky, but I do want different heights on these. And that can come across. Okay, I'm scraping off the excess. I'm leaving the tops alone. I'm just getting rid of some of that excess paint. All right, let's clean that brush or that knife. I'll set that aside. I'm going to go in. I'm going to tap in some of my white gesso. I'm going to pull it right across underneath. In fact, I think I'll come all the way across on this bottom part. Okay, so now that I got that, I'm going to kind of tap in a little bit along the bottom going to form some mist. I've got another brush. This is only a little one inch brush. It's a little smaller, easier to work with. And what I'm going to do, I've got a little bit of the white on it. Not much. Very little. I'm going to take the top of those and pull down. And I'm going to follow the angles of the mountains. Those are coming down here and then lightly the other side. Same here, bring that down. I'm gonna clean my brush off a little bit. Bring that down and then sort of pull that. And the same thing here, pull that down and right across. I'm gonna take the other brush, my bigger brush that I had the white on, and I'm gonna tap the bottom. And I can even work my way up a little bit on the mountain but basically I'm forming sort of a little mist at the base of the mountains all right I'm gonna clean those brushes I'm gonna go back to my uh, knife and I tell you white is that heavier white I'm going to pull it out flat, just like I did with the mountain color, cut across it. And I'm going to start at the top of the mountain, and I'm going to put some snow on it. I'm barely touching. I'm only letting the paint more or less touch it. And as I pull down, 
I can kind of wiggle a little bit and let it pull off what it wants. Pick up a little more. Let's do this mountain. I'm just going back, picking up more of my white. Let's do a little more on this one here. Maybe bring that over. There. Maybe something down here. Over here, we may have some trees over here, so it won't matter too much. I'm gonna mix some of that white with a little bit of that mountain color. I'm gonna lighten it up, basically, the mountain color. Got across it. This time I'm gonna use just the sharp edge of the knife. And I'm gonna kinda come in and pull. I think I need a little bit darker. We're going to do a shadow side and the same thing just let that knife just glide across very lightly all right let me clean my knife off take a look stand back do we need a little more white maybe maybe oh maybe here there's another little peak coming down let me pick up a little bit of that darker color Maybe, maybe right here, and we can kind of do a little valley in there. All right, I like those mountains. Those are looking pretty good. I think I'm going to have a little more right in here. Okay, so now I'm going to go back. I've got my clean brush. And I've dried it off on my paper towel. And I'm going to start tapping again at the base of the mountain. And even coming up a little bit. Oh, well, not too far, but just. And with a clean, dry one, just kind of go across. All right, my canvas is drying pretty quickly, so I'm gonna miss it. We're gonna put some tree lines along here. We can use either the fan brush or I can use a flat brush like this. We're gonna wet it, go into our greens, maybe a touch of the blue in it. I'm going to lighten it just slightly, not much. I don't want super light, but I do want it a little bit lighter. And like I said, I got just a touch of blue in it to cool that green down even more. And I'm going to load both sides of the brush, and it's almost like a sharp point. And then here, I'm just going to kind of, kind of tap. If it isn't coming off, just add a touch of water to it. Don't want it soaking wet, just a little bit of water. Come back, and that's working a little better. And you're gonna do it at the base. I'm gonna leave some of the misty areas here. Just picking up more color. And like I said, you can do this with a fan brush. Whichever one, you try both. See what works for you. But it's just touching. I just want something along here. And just a little bit more. I'm going to darken that color just slightly. Not much. I'm going to touch and then kind of work my way back and forth. Maybe, maybe here. Looks like a little taller tree. All right. I'm going to take my fan brush, I'm going to pull it through some of the titanium white, load both sides. I'm going to sit there and touch and kind of just pull up a little bit, pick up some more of the white, 
touch and just kind of pull up. It gives it, maybe it looks like it lightens it up and it also looks like it gives it a little maybe some of the tree trunks and such back there. Since I got the white on here, I'm going to pick up some more and then I'm going to come across right at the base. Just drag it across like that. Here, I'm going to kind of pull a few down since they're going to be water maybe over here or who knows. Let's see. All right. I'm going to clean that brush. I'm going to take my one inch brush and that's clean. I'm going to take some more of the white gesso, pull it through here, and I'm leaving ridges. And I'm going to go in a little bit of the mountain color, some of that blues, a little purplish. And then I'm going to kind of bring some, maybe down through here. And I'm bringing it in an angle, and it's going to look like shadows in the snow. I'm cleaning that brush and drying it good. And I'm going to go back. I'm going to take the larger brush. It seems to work a little better. I'm going to kind of lightly pull that down. You can see it's at an angle. So it looks like there's almost shadows in the snow. All right, I'm going to go back to my fan brush. I'm going to put some trees on the side. I'm going to go back into those blues and the greens. And this time I'm not adding any white, just keeping it fairly dark. Adding just a touch of water. My paints are a little dry. I wanted to keep it fairly thick, but I don't want it. Since it's dry in here, it's... Okay, I'm going to come up here. I'm going to touch. And then I'm going to start back and forth. Bring a tree down here. It's almost like a zigzag. And here it comes right down to here. All right. Pick up some more color. Maybe, maybe one right there. And I'm aware where the tape is, so I'm kind of putting the little top slightly above where the tape is. And I've got one right there. Okay, back to my colors. It's the blue and the green. Mostly green, but we'll put one over here. Right here. I'll put a big one here. And back and forth. And like I said, if your paint's not coming off, I'll flip the brush over to the other side. You can always add just that touch of water. This one's coming right down to here. And I think we'll put a little one next to him. Give him a little friend right there. Oh, that one got a little bigger than I thought, so we'll just make him a little taller. There we go. So you can repair almost anything if you make a little bit too large of a tree. You can just add a little height to it and Boom, you got yourself a nice little tree there. And give it another little branch over here. She's kind of skimpy. All right, I'm gonna clean that brush. And since this is gonna be a winter scene, we're gonna put some snow on those trees. So I'm gonna clean that brush fairly good. And I'm gonna pull it through. Some titanium white and a little bit of the mixed in with a little bit of the white gesso. I want some looser paint. I want that paint to come off my brush. I've got both sides coated. So I'm going to start at the top, just barely touch, and then do the same thing. Now I'm not going to cover all the green. I want to see. The green on the trees. I bet I am 
want to have some snow on it. Pull it through that again. Same thing here, just touch the top. Back and forth, back and forth. It's not coming off, add just a touch of water. Pull it through again. There we go, now it's coming off pretty good. All right, back in. I'm mostly using the white gesso right now. There is a little titanium white in there. All right, this one's working real well over here. And the same thing here. Let's flip the brush over the other side. There we go. Maybe come back since it's working a little better. All right, I'm going to take a little bit of the blue. Same brush, it's still got the white on it. I'm just going into the blue, the mountain color or the just straight blue. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to drag a little bit of shadow under here. Same thing here, and you can even touch the bottom of the tree and pull a little bit. Okay, I'm going to clean that brush a little bit. Not totally clean, it just gets some of the edge of that blue off. Back into my white, and then under here, I'm going to kind of, I'm leaving some of that shadow color, but I'm going to add some more white to it, as if the snow is kind of piled up a little bit there too. And you can pull that right out. I'm gonna touch a little bit of the green. I'm gonna pull some of that green down here and go across. So we have some of the tree color down here in the water. We're gonna have water here. All right, and I wanna leave some of that pink there because it's reflecting the sky. So I'm gonna go in, pick up some of that mountain color more white. I'm not going to go quite as dark as the mountains, but maybe right in here. I'm going to kind of pull a little bit of that in there. A little bit of titanium white so it looks like there's still snow on those mountains. But I want almost like that there's a reflection of those mountains. With just a clean dry brush, kind of pull across. So we have the colors from the sky reflected down. The sky color, some of the mountain colors, some of the alizarins. I'm gonna clean that brush. I'm gonna go in with my little twiggy brush. I'm gonna pick up some of those blues, mixed with a little bit of white, but it's mostly the darker blues. I'm gonna kinda, right here, put an edge to this lake area, wherever it is. Kind of outline it. Then I'm gonna take my clean, dry brush, kind of pull that. And you can almost see like the color of the pond. Almost an outline of the pond. I'm gonna take a little bit of the white gesso just touch, maybe pull some of that right here. Back a little bit. So, there, we kind of faded it out a little bit. In fact, I'm gonna take a little bit of that white and start here, right in the middle. I'm gonna just pull straight down, maybe a nice, because there's that would be where the main light is and a nice reflection. I'm gonna even pull it down even further. There, go across, okay. In fact, I think I'm gonna even sort of wiggle, wiggle a little bit, sort of smear that out. Okay, we got a nice reflection there. What are we gonna do here? That's what our next thing is. I think, oh, maybe. Maybe I'm gonna take some of the green and some of the bright red, mix those together. You can use like a Van Dyke brown if you want, but the red and the green makes a nice brown. I'm gonna get it real loose, and I'm using a twiggy brush. Once I get that, I'm gonna roll the brush in that brown, and then I'm gonna pull it through that white gesso. So I now have brown on one side, 
white gesso on the other side. And right here, oh, I'm gonna put my finger on the side of that just for ease. And I'm gonna pull a little fence line in. And as it comes forward, it's gonna get a little larger. Pull it through that now, a little bit of the white. And here, it's gonna get a little darker. And maybe one more here. And let's pick up a little more of the brown. There we go. And I think we're gonna pick up a little bit of that color with the white. We'll pull across a couple rails. Pick up a little more of that white. If we get further away, it's gonna get lighter. Maybe, maybe the pole down there. All right, so we have that. Maybe up here, I'm gonna take some of that blues, some of the whites. Maybe there's some kind of shrub up here that's growing. Down in this corner. And I'm gonna go in to the white. and just kind of touch, let it pull off what it wants. So it looks like maybe the frost has gotten that bush. I'm gonna take a little more of the white. Maybe, and I've got it pretty thick on my brush. Maybe, right here along here, you can see how that snow is actually coming out into, drifted out into the water a little bit. And underneath that fence, especially underneath piling up along that fence. All right, and a little bit of that blue underneath here where that's sort of drifted out. And I'm gonna take just a brush Kind of pull that out a little bit. Maybe here a little bit too. Pick up some more of that blue. And just kind of mist that out a little bit. Just giving it a little shadow underneath where the, uh, I think I'm gonna put a little bit in here too. Sort of drift that snow right across there. It's kind of built up by those bushes. I like that. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of blue, kind of white in here. I'm just going to put a few shadows in there. Maybe. Maybe it's even picking up a slight bit of that pink from the sky just in there. I'm going to take my brush here and just kind of pull those out a little bit. Maybe there's a little. All right, you're getting the shadows from the mountains. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna pick up some of my dark colors. The brown that I made, add a little more alizarin in there, maybe some of the blues, whatever dark colors you have on your palette. I'm gonna roll that. And up here, I think I'm gonna put my finger on there. I'm gonna, oops, it's not quite wet enough. If it isn't, go get some more water, get it real nice and juicy. Roll that brush. There we go, it's a little better. And there's our little bird flying in. I'll give him a little, there. I think we're gonna sign this one and call it finished. I'm getting my bright red paint nice and wet, rolling that brush in it. Let's go and find a place to sign it. Oh, let's see, how about, oh, well, let's see. Before I do that, I think, let's go take the tape off. So I've got all this tape on it, and we're going to take that off.
Set that aside. Got one over here. You can see. doesn't want to come off. One more over here. All right, we got our tape all off. Let's get rid of that. And I'm going to go back to my fan brush back into some of my greens. I'm gonna bring that tree right down. Remember it's back and forth, back and forth. Same thing here. And of course we need to put our highlights on too. that right down just picking up more paint On this side the same thing Pick up some of my whites. And go in and add some of my snow on my trees. To do the same thing over here. This tree, I'm just going to kind of bring it right to there. All right, so we've got our trees there. I think, I think I might go back into some of those blues. Maybe, maybe this bush here. my whites of course we need our highlights and just let that get a little so we've got our little oval bush over here We're ready to sign that and we're just going to sign over here i think we have a finished painting i hope you enjoyed that one